Hi, I'm Jim Camposano, editor of Super Chevy Magazine, and we're here at the streets of Willow Springs Raceway for the 2013 Super Chevy Magazine Suspension and Handling Challenge presented by Neato Tire. And one of the cars we have here today is from Art Morrison Enterprises, mm -hmm. and I'm fortunate to be able to introduce Craig Morrison, the Vice President of AME. Craig, tell us a little about the 69 Camaro. What makes it so special? Probably the biggest advantage of having an independent rear suspension is the fact that both tires can obviously move independently of one another, and it gives you a lot more comfortable ride than what a solid axle would. Not only that, we've engineered what's called a multi-link IRS that actually has some performance advantages over other styles of IRS that lets you sort of steer the car into a corner a lot harder. Tell us also the front suspension in this car. What have you done with the front suspension? The front suspension underneath this is our tried and true uh, Camaro front subframe, complete bolt-on operation. Utilizes C6 Corvette uh, suspension components, upper and lower control arms, spindle and hub assembly. We have a 20 to 1 power rack and pinion underneath it and then using adjustable JRI shocks on this particular car. How do you think your Camaro is going to do that? I think it's going to do very well. Um, with that IRS in the back, this, the front suspension that we have, big Willwood brakes on all four corners, and our engineer Matt Jones, this is his personal car, uh, he's also designed an analog brake system for it. So all in all, this whole package should work very well for this, uh, this racetrack. And you're also rolling on Nito's NT05 tires, which are great tire. It's a great everyday tire. It's a great track tire. It's a great compromise. Um, have you had a lot of seat time in the car with these tires on it? We have. In the past few days, we've been playing around down in Los Angeles. We put about 450 miles on the car in four days. Uh, everything from out on I-5 and the 405 to up in the canyons and kind of everywhere in between. And they, the tires did really great.